Hi, haven't seen you in a little while. This is Sandy with MyRealBodyYoga.com. Well, we've been in the middle of doing our 40 Days to Personal Revolution, a book by Baron Baptiste, a book study that we're doing together. And I did really good posting every day for a week, and then you heard nothing from me, right? Well, I didn't give up, and I didn't quit, but here's what happened. We hit, um, well, let me start out. Baron Baptiste talks about the laws. And he says that the laws to living life um, are like gravity. You can say that there are not laws and that there are not spiritual concepts to living life. And like gravity, um, if you choose to ignore them, you'll pay the consequences. Um, I guess that was my piece. So, um, so he talks about those. And um, it's kind of funny because when we came to the law of be willing to come apart and step out of your comfort zone, which was last week. Um, and last week we were studying vitality. Um, my body crashed. My body crashed in a majorly big way. I ended up uh, being in the hospital. They thought I had a heart attack. Yeah, I know, did not have a heart attack. Um, I do have something going on, but it's not life-threatening. Um, and that was kind of a scary few moments for me. Um, and I had to dig in deeper. And here's my deeper question, you ready? Um, am I still willing to do the 40 days to personal revolution when I had this huge roadblock hit me and it hit me like a tank, um, flat on my back for days and days and days, both before the hospital and after the hospital and after they injected me with radioactive dyes and, and a lot of heparin, so I'm one big bruise. Um, and that's why I'm kind of fussy and I'm kind of hiding a little bit because I'm just one big bruise and uh, nitroglycerin, tons and tons of it. So my body's just all full of poison now. Um, not that some of it didn't help, but definitely some of it was poison. Um, you know, so my body's like all out of balance and all out of whack and I'm still not feeling a hundred percent. Am I willing to keep going? Here's my bigger question. Um, how much do I want personal revolution? Now we talk about this in our class, and if you haven't joined our class, our spring quarter is coming up soon, so go on to the South Puget Sound Community College website and sign up. Um, if the class is full, and a couple of my classes do fill pretty quickly, um, call the college and email them anyway, and ask them to contact me, and I'll make sure you get in. Anyway, we talk about this. We talk about when your body stops working or stops working in the way that you have known it to work, what do we do? And um, that's my question. I'm getting hit with that right now. And I have to tell you that what I'm choosing to do is get right back up on the horse, so to speak. I am uh, tonight before bed. I'm going to take it. I have it all planned out. I'm going to do a light yoga routine and start cleansing my body again and then take a nice mineral bath and go to bed. Um, I've slept quite a bit today, but I've also gotten back up and doing all of my work and my chores and, and all of that. Um, so I wanted to share that with you because it was kind of scary. It was kind of scary uh, facing, facing everything I was facing. Um, so I'm kind of glad to be on this side of it. This week, kind of funny, ready? Uh, the serenity prayer. Uh, for those of you that have never heard it, it goes, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Um, I love that prayer. Whether you're Christian or not, doesn't matter. It prayer works. That prayer works really well. The reason I like that prayer is I went through a really hard time in my life. Um, a lot of my friends were really worried about me. And I've known that prayer since I was a little girl, and I'd be like, yeah, 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 that's what's on my mom's wall, wah, 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 right? And so I, um, and during this particular time in my life, I said, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. And I listed them. The courage to change the things I can, and I listed them. And the wisdom to know the difference. And then I just sat there and looked at my list. This is what I can change. This is what I can't change. And I really, every day until I felt a little bit better, allowed myself, this is the list I cannot change. This is the list I can. Um, that's what I'm going to talk about today. I really want you to think about that. What can you change in your life? And what can't you change in my life? 
I cannot change right now the fact that I've been unemployed since April of last year. Um, I cannot, though I'm working on it, right? Can't change the fact that I lost my job. Can change my approach to it. Part of my approach is I'm continually looking, right? Um, and uh, can't change the fact that the stress is playing havoc on my body right now. Can find increased outlets um, to manage my stress better. Can, can't. You know, this is the kind of time um, I'll just leave you with one more thought. I think about Lance Armstrong when he went through cancer and he got on the bike. Uh, he was going through chemo on the bike. And um, I think about that and I'm thinking, Sandy, this was my pervasive thought all last week. Sandy, get back up on the bike. Get on the bike. So I'm back up on the bike. I'm going to be recording every day again, chatting with you and doing, doing my yoga. And so Wednesday on the radio show at 8 a.m. on Blog Talk Radio, you'll find me. We're going to be talking about heart disease and yoga. We're going to be talking about fibromyalgia and yoga. I know what I said I would talk about then, but I've changed my mind after the past week. Um, that night, Wednesday night, we're going to, I will be online on MyRealBodyYoga.com's website on our social networking. I'll be sitting there online ready to chat with you from 7 to 9. Um, wow. I knew I was going to grow. I had no idea it was going to be this much. And yet, I feel I left that experience feeling blessed. Um, blessed that it wasn't my heart. Um, blessed at how many people showed how much they love me. Blessed that I had a bike to get back up on. I hope that makes sense for you. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.